What's going on YouTube? Kilo here, back with another video for you. I'm gonna be bringing. I'm gonna be bringing you guys five easy ways to increase your survivability in Modern Warfare. So let's get right into it. So at number five, we have the Riot Shield. I always run this with Overkill. I have an M4 or 725 as my primary. Riot Shield's always on my back. I feel like you can play more aggressive than you usually want to or usually like to. It's kind of like a crutch. If you were to run past a camper or just running in general, you're way less likely to get killed from the back just because you have that riot shield back there. If it is a camper that you run by, most of the campers in this game are just straight trash, so you have a high percentage of turning on them and killing them before they can react to them not doing any damage to you because of the riot shield. Another thing I'd like to add to the riot shield is I know for a fact it deflects the bullets from VTOLs. I've escaped many near death just because because the riot shield i haven't tested it on any other kill streaks i'm guessing it doesn't work for like the chopper gunner or the support elo uh, i'm not too sure about the wheelson maybe the sentry gun so at number four we have stems this is an obvious one you get two stems in one life they drastically increase your heal time most of the time after a gunfight you'll be left with a sliver of health and you'll know one or two other people are pushing you you have like a 99 percent chance of surviving the rest of that gunfight that is unless you have stems um, they're pretty forgiving. Like I said, you get two stems, so if you use one in a bad situation, you always have a backup plan. Stems are a must compared to everything else in their category. Nothing else even reaches their practicality and usability. So at number three, we have Dead Silence. This has to be a perk. I hope they listen to the community during this big patch that we're supposed to be getting in November. As of right now, this current meta, I think you need to run Dead Silence. I know they tried to like patch or they did something to the footsteps i don't think that really did anything because i can still hear people from across the map i run dead silence and the ammo crate for my field upgrades and i always proc dead silence whenever i can no matter what even if i'm not like by anybody i don't know why it's just a habit i guess dead silence is a must run and if it becomes a perk i'm kind of scared that that's the only perk that people are going to run if they do add it as a perk i think they're going to add it as perk two to kind of counterbalance with the ghost because perk 2 is dominated by ghosts. Perk 1 and perk 3, I feel like there's not very many dominant perks that people run in those spots. But perk 2, almost everybody uses ghosts. So at number 2, we have a mashup. It's like two perks that go very well together. First one, perk 1 slot, EOD. With EOD, you take reduced damage from explosives. So you can combat the grenade spam at like the beginning of search and destroy rounds. Or just the beginning of any game in general, I guess. And... Most of the time, you'll die from the claymores, but there is a small chance that you won't die from the claymores. Adding on to EOD, you can also hack enemy equipment. So if you, like, know there's a camper in a building, you hack his claymore at the door, and he doesn't know it, he runs by that claymore, he's going to die from his own claymore, and I guarantee he's going to be pretty salty. Perk 3 slot runs spotter with EOD. Spotter allows you to see equipment through walls and kill streaks, but the equipment's the important part. And you can also mark it for your teammates so they can see it too. This just allows you to hack equipment easier and allows you to avoid claymores and those mines that barely anybody runs. And number one, this is the final one, requires no skill whatsoever. Anybody can do it. It's the easiest one. It's to become the one thing that everyone hates. The one thing that you wish to destroy, just become the camper. In this current meta, I feel like you have to camp at least somewhat just to have fun in this game. If not, you're just getting gunned down by everybody else who are holding corners, hiding in dark areas, sitting inside boxes, being a scumbag with the 725 and claymores. I hope that when this patch does come out mid-November, end of November, whenever we're supposed to get it, I hope that the radar fixes this problem. The amount of campers in this game is insane. It's so annoying to play this game right now. It's not fun at all, and something needs to be changed. Alright, that's it for the video. Twitch, Twitter will be linked in the description. Please like, comment, subscribe. It's been good. Deuces.